hello friends welcome to my channel once again in today's video we will be checking how to fix a problem in your computer when your computer shows 100% disk usage and how we will come to know about that we just need to right click on task bar and click on task manager and you may see a, a window like this but what you need to do just click on the more details and now you'll see cpu memory disk network and all these things so mine shows okay but in some cases when you feel your computer is running very slow uh, you can check uh, by going to the task manager and the disk usage may show 100 percent it will show 100 percent disk usage and that will be the that is the time when you need to perform the steps which I'm going to perform in this video so you need to open command prompt and you can simply type in the uh, in the search bar at the bottom left corner CMD and you will get the command prompt app right click run as administrator left click on run as administrator click on yes when you get the user account control window and you will get this command prompt window so we need to type the command just look at the screen the command is okay that is the command you can simply press enter once you are done typing that we will get the confirmation that Windows search service has stopped successfully and that is one of the way it is actually a, a way we, where we can temporarily disable this service and check if you want to disable it permanently you can go to services.msc window and you can disable it from there and I will tell you that way also simply open up the run window right click on the start and left click on run type services.msc and click OK find Windows search service okay here is right now it is running automatic we have already disabled it but that as I said that is not a, a permanent way of disabling that service if you want to disable it permanently you can come to this and double click on it and simply click on stop and click OK so now it is disabled it is not running simply close this the next service which we need to disable is is super fetch in order to disable the super fetch also we need to go to command prompt that is now in order to disable super fetch you need to type a command that is okay so that is the command to stop the super fetch service I'm not going to do that because uh, that service is no longer there in Windows 10 version 1903 I have already upgraded my Windows 10 to 1903 so I don't have this service anymore so I'll close this now, now the next step which we are going to do is we are going to update all the drivers on our computer and how you can do that uh, you can either do that by device manager simply right clicking on uh, an update but what I like to do I will show you open up a browser and simply look for driver booster
okay so I'm going to download driver booster okay so our software has been downloaded we will click and open it click yes when you get a user account control window you can close the browser so right now we are installing a software that is called driver booster we'll go for custom install we don't want to pin it to taskbar we can leave the create a desktop icon and click install we don't want any of these opera and all so we'll click no thanks here and click next so the installation is in progress you don't need to subscribe and all just simply click on no thanks and click on scan now you can close this okay now there are 16 outdated device drivers in my computer so simply click on update now so there's a battery driver Bluetooth driver all Intel driver sound driver all these are outdated It may take some time so just let it run so you may get a message to restart your computer in between but don't worry until unless it is uh, done we are not going to restart the computer and one single driver may take very long to install depending upon your internet speed okay so do you see the notification at the bottom right corner restart required so don't worry about that once it installs all the drivers then we will be restarting the computer okay we since it is a free software we make it a pop-up to uh, upgrade it so don't worry about that you can simply click on the x at the top right corner so it says update completed reboot now to take effect now do you see the message all all drivers shows up to date next to them now you can simply click on reboot and it will restart your computer so i'm going to do that so the computer has restarted all our drivers are updated now we don't need that driver booster to keep on our computer you can download the latest version whenever you want in future so we'll be removing that simply press windows and r and type a command that is appwiz.cpl and press enter so locate driver booster and click on uninstall click yes if user account control window pops up and you can remove everything It will take few seconds. Okay, we have successfully removed driver booster. Well, that's it in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel and make sure you cl click the bell icon also 
next to subscribe button so you can get updates of all my upcoming videos. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye-bye.